Hey guys, Effectual here today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I found to be the best way to farm Glimmer in Destiny. Uh, Glimmer is, for those of you who might not know, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't know, is basically your currency in the game. And it allows you to buy everything that you need and to upgrade all your items, gear, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, basically, uh, the, the place I decided to farm is on Mars in the uh, mission The Exclusion Zone. And the way that I did this, um, I usually end up with about 20k glimmer an hour, so 20,000 glimmer an hour. And it's definitely very helpful. So the mission that I do is the exclusion zone on Mars. So you just want to go and select the mission, and if you want, you can do level 20, 22, whatever level you want. The reason I chose level 22 is because it allows you to level up gear that you may not have fully upgraded yet while you're farming your glimmer and stuff and yeah it'll get you experience for those items and it's definitely very helpful so to start make sure you have plenty of the uh, consumables of the resupply codes after you use the resupply code you have about 10 minutes to kill as many cabal as possible if you don't have enough resupply codes you should be able to pick up more while you, within the 10 minutes that you have while you're farming your glimmer it's usually enough I usually get about two or three within the 10 minutes of each one that I have and anyway, when you continue the mission, you're going to want to go down into where, basically where Ghost tells you to go. And he's going to open up the door, or actually the Cabal, rather, are going to open up the door. And you run out and maybe toss a grenade or so, just to get a couple of kills in the Cabal. And then you want to break left immediately. And uh, once you go left, you jump over the trench, you're going to see a second ship fly in. And that ship's going to have 10 Imperial Cabal on them. They, they're the ones that have the yellow health bar. Those are the ones that you are really aiming to kill during your Glimmer farm. They usually end up giving you about pretty close, I think it's 48, they, and then they give you, which is pretty close to about 50 Glimmer per kill. And there's 10 of them, so you get about 500 give or take Glimmer per run of this. And each run takes about a minute and 30 seconds. So when I started this, I am a Warlock, as you can see in this class and stuff. I'm using a Voidwalker and with her uh, Supernova ability. Uh, or super, uh, and it, it can be helpful if you have like Gallarhorn or any of those or any of those exotic weapons or any just big awesome rocket launcher or any good heavy weapons. Just make sure you have heavy weapon ammo, and it should be set to kill a lot of the a lot of the cabal really quickly. So immediately after running past the first ship and going over the trench to the left, I usually have my super up. Uh, not not usually in the first run, but a couple runs after, I'm usually able to keep it up, and. Um, Four, of the, or four, four to five Cabal will jump out on the one side that you're going to be facing. And either if you have a rocket launcher or, any of the, or just any heavy weapon in general, or a supernova, or a titan smash, use those abilities. They're, they're, it's going to make it really easy to kill all those Cabal just really quickly, and then you have cleared out one side. And uh, basically your goal is to try and clear out these ten Imperial Cabal as quickly as possible, and then get yourself killed. After getting yourself killed, you're going to reset right as soon as the door opens, then you run right back out there again. And like I said, after about 30 minutes after using three resupply codes, I end up uh, I end up with about, give or take, 10k. And that's not counting the network keys. Uh, the network keys each give you 200 glimmer as well, and they drop off of the Imperial Cabal. I'm not sure exactly what the drop rate is on the network keys, but... After a 30 minute run, I would usually end up with about 20 of them, give or take. And they each, like I said, give about 200 glimmer. So, I mean, 200 glimmer times 20, uh, it's about another 4,000 extra glimmer added on to the 10,000 10, that you might have gotten already. So basically, I found out that the fastest way to die is usually to leave up the Phalanx Cabal. Um, they when they hit with their shield smash they they do a bit of damage I mean it's not a ton but the big thing about their shield smash is that if you line yourself up against the wall or something when they hit you with it they'll knock you back with enough force that when you hit the wall it's gonna kill you immediately so that's usually the the fastest way I found out so make sure you leave a couple of failing ball alive if you're clearing out the whole place instead of just the Imperial Guards Another thing to look out for is if you only kill the group on that left side that jump out of the ship and the other ones escape up to wherever, they kind of have like a designated path that I notice after doing this enough to, to easily find them amongst all the other random smaller mobs. 
Um, I would usually look first inside the uh, trench. That would be to your left as you walk out that first door. Or immediately to the right of that, there's another little like uh, bunker. Usually about four or five of them run into that bunker like immediately after they jump out of the ship. So let's make sure you always check those places and you will find them fairly easily and be able to kill them. Pretty quickly. And just make sure that you always run over the bodies of them as well and look for those little tiny pyramids. Those are usually going to be the network keys or the resupply codes and those will give you those extra glimmer boosts and everything. So those will make everything easier, a lot faster, a lot smoother. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.